Hey loves, welcome back to the Gitana. Um, today I am going to be showing you guys how to do a very simple, um, a little bit complicated, but very simple uh, spell for the new year because we know that at the beginning of the year, everybody kind of gets into the Capricorn moon and then they want to like set, you know, new year resolutions and a lot of them don't end up lasting for you know reasons um so everybody be sent you know doing intentions but then they don't follow through with what their goals actually are um so this is what i like to call half ash wit witchery anyway so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do um a binding spell on yourself so you can actually keep the intentions that you're setting in the new year now uh, for this I will say um, you have an opportunity today to do this you can do this um, throughout Capricorn season I would suggest Capricorn season Aquarius season or when the moon is in those um, signs as well uh, you want to work with Saturn energy because Saturn is very much a grounding very much stability um, he wants you to have a foundation so that's the whole point of this spell um, and it's about your longer goals and he likes that he likes that you're already trying to have all of these resolutions and things so we're working with Saturn energy right now but you have an opportunity to do this spell today since this is New Year's um, at two d times whether or not you want to do this in the earlier part of the day or at night time be mindful that right now the moon is in Pisces so while the moon is in Pisces, it was a really good time to work on like if you're trying to do like binding yourself to more like self healing and love work or like maybe creativity work or like uh, anything that has to do with kind of like implanting seeds in your subconscious mind. This would be a perfect time to do it. But if you are trying to do some more like, no, I want to push myself. I want to grow. I want to like do career stuff like that. Maybe you might want to do it um, once the moon turns and in, uh, moves into Aries at 11 p.m. tonight. So you have two opportunities. I'm uploading it a little bit early so y'all can do this when y'all get home or whatnot. Um, and yeah, you have two opportunities to do this. So, you know, take it as you will. Now, this this spell is going to be a kind of a two-part spell because I'm, I am going to do be doing a blessing to the ancestors before I do the spell. Um, but before I even do that, I am going to be cleansing real quick just because I was just doing some very powerful, baneful magic before I started this. Um, so I want to just like reset the vibes. So I'm just going to take some Palo Santo and like smoke it out a little bit. okay okay so just take a moment to like ground yourself breathe in connect to your root chakra you're you're putting in a a, a goal um, a resolution for the new year you want to make sure it's grounded you want to make sure you're building on that so just connect with your ground chakra think of your feet um, you can um, go ahead and like envision a red light if you need to this is just like it however you want to connect to your root chakra connect to your root chakra take off your shoes do this in the park well you you need a fridge for this so you can't do it in the park but just connect to your root chakra use crystals whatever you need to do and just ground yourself and just cleanse your space okay all right and now that we've done that because i only got 10 minutes to do this video um the first part of the well, the one of the second part of the spell is gonna actually be the water. I am charging it with carnelian right now. Um, it takes seven minutes for it to crystallize, um, for those crystals to form in the water, uh, for it to be blessed before I use it for the other spell. But before we do that, you are going to need a mini cauldron or a bowl, a fire safe bowl. Um, you're going to need some ancestor money, um, and. A permanent marker yes it has to be a permanent marker because you want it to be permanent okay you want your intentions to be permanent you want it to be long term you're not trying to half-ass nothing you're not using a pencil you're using a permanent marker okay um so you're gonna take your ancestor money i already wrote my petition on here okay i'm gonna show you out but i mean the essence of it is just um thanking the ancestors um and just for the blessings for the new year, asking for them for protection, and just giving them, sending them this energy. So I'm going to fold it over to myself, okay? And I like to 
do it three times. Okay, so it's like this, and then I'm just going to take it, first of all, I'm gonna take my handy dandy, whatever this is called, the spatula, I think it's called, and then I'm going to burn this. So I'm gonna let that burn. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my cauldron. And I'm just gonna be thanking the ancestors for the protection, for the health, for the healing um, in 2020. And then there's certain things I'm saying in my head because, you know, I'm not gonna tell you everything, but give me a sec. Okay, so now that that's done and out of the way, we can get to the main part of the spell. I already wrote the petition down. So this is a spell for my girlfriend, actually. She knows I'm doing the spell, so relax. Um, but this is a binding freezer spell. And the reason why I'm doing this is because she there are certain goals and stuff that she wants to focus on. And I would suggest doing this spell like for things like people love to, to set New Year's resolutions for like, Oh, I want to lose weight. I want to have this body, whatever, whatever. And then they just don't end up following through. And that's why I'm doing this. So this is going to be focusing on her healing specifically. Um, and you're going to need, and technically this is one of the Dollar Tree spells. So it's very simple. You're going to need a, um, what's it called? What is it called? I can't remember what these bags are called for some reason but you're gonna need one of them um and i got the one that has the content and date because i'm going to be writing 2020 on it okay because i want to make sure that the water knows while we're crystal while it's crystallizing in the fridge and it's staying there for a year that this intention and this binding is for the year 2020 okay so i'm gonna go ahead and fold the petition over and while you're writing it what you want to focus on is um uh using the words i bind so if you're binding yourself i bind myself to more self-care self-love practices in the year 2020 i bind myself to love myself more to take care of my body spiritually mentally um I bind myself, et cetera, et cetera. You, you are binding yourself. So you wanna make sure you're using those words. Okay, so once the paper has been folded like that, you're gonna go ahead and plop it in your bag. And since the water has already crystallized because I left it in for quite a bit, you're gonna take the water. You can take the crystal out. And for this, if you wanna do like a love spell, or something you can use rose water you can definitely play around with the formula of this because you're just blessing the water and I can definitely feel it it's definitely charged up so we're just putting in the water okay so it's gonna look like this and you're gonna seal it but let the air out though Let the air out as much as you can, seal it up, run it through. And then you are going to just lay it flat like this in your fridge and let it freeze over, okay? And then at some point, let's say you did the spell, you found more control of yourself so you don't have to put do bindings on yourself. You could just let, you know, take it out of the fridge, um, wait till the thoughts out rip up the petition with the opposite intention if, you, if it's something that you want to release and yeah that's pretty much how you do the freezer binding spell you can do this for a lot of different things um you can bind yourself to money in 2020 uh you could you can bind yourself to a more like a spiritual practice maybe you want to charge some water with amethyst uh, if, you, if you're trying to do psychic work there's different ways to do it but I just wanted to show you guys the spell. I am definitely running out of time. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a blessed 2020. Bye.